Oh, hey my friends, it is Empress Enchantress, back from another video. So, I am coming in and talking to you guys about competition. And I want to talk to you guys about this because there is a lot of women, right, who come to me who need business advice, who need maybe that extra support with having, like, somebody to hold space for them um, around these feelings. And this always ties into one, and I know this is always going back to recircle, and even though this branches off to a couple things, but this is always going to come back down to you, okay, my friends? Competition is a very natural, I want to say, very natural vibration and energy. Um, and this is coming from a place, from the root chakra, um, and this is coming from a place of lack, okay? So a lot of times when people are a little bit competitive or way bit competitive because there is a scale of competition to how people are right and that by the way is depending on like the lack that they were receiving growing up okay but anywho when somebody is competitive this is going into the root chakra that's going into maybe what they did not have and this is also going into surviving okay so i want to also state one more thing before i really break this down even more competition is a very masculine energy it's a super masculine energy where people love to be in this energy that is masculine it doesn't mean as a female if you're watching this that you're a man because you compete okay that's not what i'm trying to say what I'm trying to say is a more a natural energy in the masculine energy. So if you are a man, this is going to be even more natural in you. But if you are trying to stay into your empress, right, energy, or you're trying to enchant people, enchant people, competition is going to end up being your detriment. That's what I want to say. Because here's the thing. If you're always constantly trying to make sure the other person or the other people around you who are maybe doing something that's similar to you, maybe a purpose in life, maybe you're a chef, um, or or you're also maybe a mechanic, something that is a, a trade or a craft, right? And you look around, it's like, oh, well, she, she adds this to her menu, so I should add that. Or she's in this building, so I should do that, right? You have to understand something. A lot of times the person or a person who is being looked at the most they're in dominance okay and here's the thing about dominance dominant people are not concerned about who and what is going on around them what they're concerned about is what they're doing right here and now and dominant people are in the now <laughs> okay and i don't want to side rail too much but this all plays into one dominant people right they're going to try to do what feels good to themselves. They're going to listen to what makes sense to them. They're not going to have like, if they're a steak restaurant, they're not going to all of a sudden start adding like Mexican food, right? Does it make sense? Like they're going to know how their stuff is going by because they're in dominance of their own energy. Does that make sense? Okay. So in order... For you, and, and you don't, and by the way, guys, what you don't realize, what you're doing sometimes too, if you're always looking at the next person or the next human or doing whatever, right? You don't realize what you're doing is, is you're also giving that person who's in their dominance already even more dominance. Does that make sense? Because they're going to know. They're going to be like, oh, this person is definitely copying my menu. This person is definitely copying what services they're at. They're definitely copying my interior. Definitely had that happen. I couldn't tell you how many people had orange couches, vines, and LED lights because I had it in my shop. I couldn't tell you. I think multiple people in Rhode Island had it because I do. But I want to explain something to anybody who's curious. When I made my decor to my businesses, right, it was screaming my energy, right? It was all part of me. And I, those, all those things came into my into my pocket my my lap my orange couch came to me in my lap my my sunflower came to me in my lap 
my tables came to me in my lap every single thing came to me it wasn't like i was like i gotta look for this because that looks really cute because somebody else has it it was because i was already bringing that in naturally okay so a lot of people don't realize that right and the only way to actually not have to go through this feeling of lack is connecting into what makes you feel good and safe and also accepting it you don't need to prove anything to anybody for starters you are not here as human beings to sit here and try to one-up each other right and also to i want to add to this when you are too much and wondering how they're doing it you're going to lose sight and of the purpose of your path right because a lot of times when you're giving services out you're giving service to all people and they can sense that in your food in your sessions right in the work that you do in someone's car and um maybe house cleaning too whatever that looks like right does that make sense to you guys if it does comment comment below i would love to hear from you guys if you guys want me to make a part two about this i would love to go a little bit deeper but that's all i have right now for you and i'll talk to you guys all soon bye